Hi, and welcome back to another teardown guide from EPC. Today, we're taking a look at the Dell Precision 5570. It's a high-end 12th gen workstation from 2022. It requires multiple different bits to take apart, a little more complex than our usual build, but today, we're gonna show you how. Now, let's get into it. The bits required to disassemble this computer are a TR5, a PH0, and a PH000. All right, to start off, let's flip it over to the back side. This back is held in by eight of these TR5 screws. Let's start by taking those off. All right, now take off the back cover is a little more difficult than usual. We're gonna start by tackling this corner with our scraper. Just trying to slowly and gently separate these layers. Then we'll go around the top edge. Now, while holding that open just a bit, we're going to flip it down so we can get to that last edge. And there you see, it came right off. That should be the last we need of that TR5 bit. Let's set it to the side and grab our PH triple zero. So next thing we're going to do is remove the battery. It's held on by eight separate screws. Four of them, the black ones at the top. Four of them are the silver ones at the bottom. All right, and to remove the battery itself, you simply have to lift up. Careful of the connector over here. Once the battery itself is off, we can then pull the connector out via this little notch that's right there. There may be a little protective layer over the top. Simply remove that. and then we can push the battery connector out. And set that to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is tackle the LCD lid assembly. The first thing we're going to remove is going to be this bracket holding on the display connectors. It's only held on by these three captured screws. Next thing we're going to remove is this second bracket held on by two even smaller black screws which aren't captured. And now to disconnect the display, we'll have to remove these two connectors right here. I simply use the scraper right here at the corner and gently pull up. And they come loose. And the whole thing will pull away. Next up, we're going to be removing the brackets itself each held on by four screws on either side. We're going to swap over to the larger Phillips bit for this one. So let's open it up. 
and then flip it over. And as I said, four screws on either side. And now we'll just simply lift the display away and set that to the side. We can swap back over to our smaller Phillips bit. Next thing we're going to tackle is going to be the CPU fans. Both sides are separate. Let's start with the right side. This is held on by these two Phillips screws. And then it simply lifts out. Disconnect the connector right here by pulling back on both sides. And now for the fan on the left, the first thing we need to do is remove this bracket. held on by these two screws at the top and bottom. And then one more screw here at the bottom. And now just like the other, we can lift it away and disconnect the cable. Now the rest of the motherboard is where things get a little more tricky. So to start, we're going to be removing the two hard drive enclosures. Both held on by a single silver standoff. Now let's go after the Wi-Fi connection. The bracket is held on by this single screw right here. Now the black cable is easier to remove by simply lightly wedging something underneath so you can pop it straight off. The other connector the white connector is much more difficult because of this small clip right here. So you'll first need to do the same thing by slightly popping it off and then de-threading it from that small clip. While we're here, we'll disconnect the speaker connector as well, hidden underneath this little bit of adhesive. We can simply pull it straight away, although the cable might be a little buried in the board. We can then remove this ribbon cable that was underneath the bracket we removed for the left CPU fan. Much the same as the display. Simply pop it straight off on the corner. And underneath of that is a single bracket for the USB-C cover held on by this one lone screw. You'll see underneath of that is a small ribbon connection. So we can disconnect that.
and just push it to the side. On the opposite side of the board is another bracket holding these two USB C's. So it's held on by just these two screws here. And pull it straight away. Now we have one more ribbon cable down here, connecting the motherboard to the keyboard and touchpad. Simply disconnect from both sides. And pull it away. Now the board itself is held on by this one silver screw down here between the two hard drive connections. And these two black screws at the top near the display connectors. And now, if we've done everything right, the board itself should lift straight up and away. As you can see, there are other things that can still be removed, such as this daughter board up here, as well as this touchpad assembly and the speaker assembly, but we won't be doing that for you today. And that's how you disassemble the Dell Precision 5570. Don't feel like doing a teardown yourself? Have not just one, but hundreds of devices taking up space? EPC is a global leader in the ITAD field, and it's our goal to reduce e-waste and give devices a second chance. Reach out to us today to learn more.